Well, it seems Wizard of the Coast is in another scandal, but this time it's over artificial intelligence made art. Let's get into the details of this because it's one for the record books for Wizards of the Coast. Now, before we fully get into the video, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things that YouTube likes, and let me know down below what you think of the use of artificial intelligence for art. So this is the response. Let's start off with the response and how we got here. From the Magic the Gathering actual Twitter account. Well, we made a mistake earlier when we said that a marketing image we posted was not created using AI. Read on for more of one of five thread part here. As you, our diligent community, pointed out, it looks like some AI components are now that are now popping up in the industry standard tools like Photoshop crept into our marketing creative. Even if a human did the work to create the overall image. Adobe Photoshop now has AI generation that you can do with it to kind of help things along. But this one in particular, this, this art piece, um, it, it's pretty easy to spot out the deficiencies in this artwork. And maybe if they had a quality control agent or someone that actually looked at these things, we, we, we know they can't at this point. Maybe, just maybe, if someone actually looked at it, they might go, mm, no, this is not going to pass. While the art came from a vendor, it is on us to make sure that we're living up to, the, to our promise to support the amazing human integrity that makes magic great. We already made clear that we require artists, writers, and creatives contributing to the Magic TCG to refrain from using AI generative tools to create a final magic product. Now we're evaluating how we work with vendors on creative beyond our products like these marketing images to make sure that we are living up to those high values. Well, where did this come from? Well, it came from these special lands that were being pushed out as part of a promotion. Now the promotion, the lands, I'm not quite sure. From my understanding, the lands themselves, the cards themselves actually were uh, generated by a human. I don't even know at this point. It is, it's been a little bit more hard to follow this one in particular, but what happened here was they put out this picture, this picture in particular for the, the promotional material. And it got put out on, on Twitter. Wizards of the Coast responded to PC Gamer's article here. Yes, I have an archive. We understand confusion by fans given the style being different than card art, but we stand by our previous statements. This art was created by humans and not AI. And when you go back and actually look at the artwork, you can kind of see the, 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 one, the one real big telling here. You can see the gauges generated what looks here, like you're normally, but then you get over to the sides here. This is not normal human interaction when it comes to this type of artwork at all. Um, there's other things like artists have been pointing out certain lines, certain things that just are telltale signs that this was AI generated, uh, the, some certain smudging on certain things. So this piece of artwork from everything that uh, is out there seems to be AI generated, or at least to the point that it, AI was used to fill in the blanks for the art piece. But certain things here don't make sense when it comes down to it, especially, I think the most telling part on this is the gauge, the gauge showing that this is definitely AI art. You, you see this time and again, if you look close enough at most AI art, there is a consistency for flaws. Like the picture that I've generated below me here, you can see his hand on the keyboard. You can see the keyboard looks completely jank. You just know that it's AI art. You know it's an AI image. It's fun to play around with the AI art, but when it comes down to the professional capacity of Wizards of the Coast, where Magic the Gathering is solely about the art in a lot of cases, then you need to make sure that those checks and balances are being done. And it seems Wizards of the Coast tried to stand their ground, but ultimately they failed because they got community noted, they got a plethora of people, and on top of that, they have an artist that has t decided to walk away from the game entirely over this. So at this point, we may just see a artist boycott coming down the line too. So Dave Raposa, Ra Raposa, uh, and just like that, poof, I'm done working for Wizards of the Coast. You can't say 
you stand against the blatantly use AI to promote your products, email sent, goodbye, you all. And that is a very, very damaging look for Wizards of the Coast. The artists are now standing up against them and saying, no, you cannot continue to do this. So community noted showing that the, uh, the picture was clearly used as AI art or generated via AI, certain details of it. It might have a human aspect to it. Like with most, you got to prompt it, but this was still generated obviously by AI art. So now with Dave, who was Dave? What kind of artist was he? Well, he's got a plethora of cards, very many cards when you go into the gatherer. There's so many cards here, it's unbelievable. And then they also have things like Nahiri, um, they have Nissa, Ajani, Gideon, he's done a ton of Planeswalkers as well. On top of their statement on Twitter, they put one on the main Magic the Gathering site. Thanks to our diligent community, yada, yada, that same thing. Pretty much saying that it was Photoshop. We didn't know, we didn't look at it. We don't know what we're doing. We're trying to just run a company here and it doesn't matter that you guys are eagle eyes and know everything about our, our company before we do. That's where it comes down to. Now, what's the response like? Where is Wizards of the Coast? A lot of people are asking, okay, what are what are the checks you're going to do? What are you going to do to make sure this doesn't happen again? Uh, you know, maybe one of the 1,100 people you laid off weeks before Christmas should have pointed this out and avoided the whole situation. Good thing the CEO makes nine million a year though. Apparently that's in mostly in bonuses. Um, this is very, very much appreciated. I understand things sneak through. It's happened in the past and it's getting harder to discern. They also, um, in the past, they've had books, Dungeons and Dragons books come out there that generally were used with AI. So there's more that you know with Wizards of the Coast where they're going to take these shortcuts. And that's the problem with Wizards of the Coast is they've been taking these shortcuts for a very long time. The shortcuts are not living up to the standards of players and consumers alike. Nobody is liking these, the, the future of Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast right now. They have their hands in a lot of things with Dungeons and Dragons and with Magic the Gathering and they're just putting it out there. They're paying royalties through the nose. Their stock price is in the tank. What's next? It's only the start of 2024. And I guess the next thing for Wizards of the Coast to do here is maybe send the Pinkertons out again, just to, to rough up some people, just so we know we need to like them. I don't know where this company goes from here, they've still seeming to find a new bottom of the barrel. Maybe they can come out of it sometime in the future, but if they don't uh, correct course very soon, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot more auctions of this company. Anyway, I'm your Proud Canadian Phoenix in the Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.